people running for office for the Christian terrorist party are openly advocating violence. Let me give you some examples. This is from the Washington Post. There's a guy who was running um, in, uh, he was running for state attorney general, Michael Perutka in Maryland. And a few days before the primary, which is on January, uh, July 19th, already passed, this, this Christian fascist stood up at an Italian restaurant in Rockville, Maryland, and imagined how a foreign enemy might attack America. Perutka told the crowd, who had come to hear this asshole, he said this, quote, We would expect them to make our borders porous. We would expect them to make our cities unsafe places to live. We would expect them to ruin our economy. End quote. You understand what he's saying, that this is a result of Biden administration. He went on to say that the country was at war. And he said, quote, and the enemy has co-opted members and agencies and agents of our government, end quote. Now, the irony here is this rat headed fucker is referring. He, he's trying to make it sound like progressives or liberals or Democrats have done this. When in fact, it's just the opposite. The evidence is all over the place from these hearings. But when the uh, primary occurred on July 19th, this asshole easily won over a more moderate Republican. Now, he's not the attorney general. He just won the Republican nomination for attorney general. Now he has to stand against a Democrat. Then you have a state representative in Maryland, Dan Cox. He won Trump's endorsement. Because this asshole supported Trump's effort to subvert the 2020 election. And he won over a Republican endorsed by Maryland's popular Republican governor, Larry Hogan. Now, both of these two fascist Christian terrorists who won, they both described a country that was not merely in trouble, But it was being destroyed by leaders who despise most Americans. That would be Biden, Pelosi, Schumer. In a lot of swing states, many Republicans are saying that liberals hate them personally. And may turn into rioters or or a police state on people who disobey liberals. I, I mean, do you see what's going on here? It's just turned upside down. This is what these crazy fuckers, these fascist Christians, these Christian terrorists who are running for office on the state level, this is what they're telling people. The country's in deep trouble because of the lies and the deceit and the terror committed by Liberals? Democrats? I mean, what the fuck? When was the last time liberals or Democrats stormed the Capitol, tried to overthrow the government? But these dumb fuckers who vote for what they think are Republicans or not, and terrorists, these dumb fuckers who cast these ballots sit back there on their large asses, most of them, and nod their heads and say, yeah, that's what's happening. Those liberals, they want to bring the Negroes into my neighborhood. Oh, no. Son of a bitch. And this guy Cox, where'd he go? Dan, State Representative Dan Cox. Um, he said, in reference to the coronavirus, And the protests back in the summer two years ago of police brutality and police murder of black people. This asshole Cox told supporters at a rally last month, quote, we were told 14 days to bend the curb and yet Antifa was allowed to burn our police cars in the streets. Do you really you really think with what we're seeing with the riots that have happened you know, black people that we should not have something to defend our families with. This is why we have the Second Amendment. 
end quote. You see what's going on here, don't you? So this kind of rhetorical bullshit designed w w with one purpose in mind, to stir up these cultists, these these Christian terrorists who don't realize yet that they are a Christian terrorist, but to stir them up, turn them into the foaming, frothing mob of assholes that attacked the U.S. Capitol <clears throat> on January 6th, a year and a half ago. Now, it's true that liberal commentators made liberal use of the word fascism to describe Trump's presidency. It described itself as being fascistic. And then that bullshit theory that Barack Obama was undermining American power because he was a foreign agent <laughs> and wasn't even born here. That was so popular among these, at the time, they still considered themselves to be Republicans. They were really incipient Christian fascists and now have become Christian terrorists. And the orange vomit, Trump promoted that idea with every, every chance he had. And then he won the White House after Obama was finished as president. A lot of Democrats saw the backlash to Barack Obama that did occur, that that was specific to the fact that Barack Obama was a black man. And a lot of Democrats said that Biden was unlikely to inspire mass opposition to Trump in the 2016 presidential election. But Republicans went to work during the campaign and they in 2016 and 2020 to portray Biden as a malevolent figure, a, a, a guy who, who was a hateful leftist who was campaigning to weaken America. Biden, a hateful leftist, <laughs> Joe Biden. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So, what else? In Central Florida, that nest of crazy fuckers that uh, live on the peninsula in this country, Florida. In Central Florida, there's an Army veteran named Corey Mills. And he's running ads about his company selling tear gas that was used to disrupt and disperse demonstrations for social justice back in 2020. He says, quote, you may have seen some of our work. And then he has this ad that starts a montage of what are labeled Antifa, radical left, Black Lives Matter protesters running from his company's brand of tear gas. And then in Northwest Ohio, there's a campaign video by a fascist terror, a, a Christian terrorist who is a Republican congressional nominee. His name is Majewski. And it shows this terrorist walking through a dilapidated factory holding an AR-15 warning that Democrats, quote, will destroy our economy with deliberate bad policies, end quote. He, he also says, quote, their agenda is bringing America to its knees, and I'm willing to do whatever it takes, end quote. Now, the irony for me is this asshole J. R. Majewski is seeking a house seat in a district around Toledo, the town I was born in. <clears throat> and that house seat was redrawn to make the woman who has been representing Ohio from that district for years, Marcy Kaptur, she's also the former mayor of Toledo, to make her beatable. And Majewski says, quote, if I have to kick down doors, that's just what patriots do. End quote. K 
kick down doors to find liberals or Democrats. In Missouri, um, you've heard of this asshole, Republican Senate candidate, this this true Nazi fucker, Eric Greitens. He put out two ads this summer in which he holds or he fires weapons and he vows that he will go rhino hunting. A rhino is Republican in name only. And in one ad, he, he says that in another ad, he targets what he calls, quote, the political establishment, end quote. So Greitens doesn't give a fuck if you're Democrat, Republican, or whatever. If you're not a Trump fascist, he'll come after you with a gun. Now, this, this, this is insane. Uh, I just heard about this the other day, but some Democrats, uh, uh, um, Democratic Party uh, organizers or financial people have been spun, spending money that comes from Democratic voter contributions. They're spending money to help these Republican extremists get elected under the theory that the, the, the Republican terrorists will be easier to beat in November by the Democratic candidate. So they're giving money. Some of these Democratic Party operatives are giving money to the campaigns of these Christian terrorists. This is fucking insane. The Democratic Governors Association, according to the Washington Post, spent more than $1.1 million on positive ads for Cox. The one I told you who is uh, determined to, to find liberals, the one that said, well, that's why we have the Second Amendment. What the fuck? I mean, <laughs> and Cox is the one who is telling voters that they one day might have to do battle with Antifa, and they better be armed when that day comes. Antifa, it's a concept, you stupid fuckers, you Christian terrorists. You people are really organized, and you have been for 2,000 years. Antifa is a concept. It means anti-fascism. I wonder how many of these brain-dead fuckers know that. Oh, well. Oh, well. But try telling that to these Christian terrorists who are first, last, and foremost a bunch of fucking cowards. Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.